All right, so we're here at the airport. We're uh, getting ready to head to Austin. Uh, we go there every two and a half months or so for business, and we're gonna stop by the Giga Factory. Pretty excited for it. It's my first time vlogging in public, so it's kind of weird, but yeah, excited to take you with me. Now I'm flying over to Austin. I didn't get so many good shots of, of the flight and everything. It was kind of muggy and, and gross when we were going into Austin. It looked like a lot of pollution was in there. I don't know if there are fires or whatnot, Flight was completely full. Come to find out Trump was doing some type of rally or something in Austin, I don't know. Austin actually has some really beautiful artwork that you'd walk past as you're going there. It's really cool. It's almost like an industrial little city with floating little doorways into these things. Really, really cool artwork. Most of the cars were rented, all of that stuff, because a lot of people I'm assuming were in town to see Trump. Didn't end up getting as much footage as I would have liked to. But uh, the highlights to the trip to me were the fact that I got to go spend it with really good business partners and friends, and they even smoked a brisket for us. So the best cooking and food that we had in Austin was by our friend, you know, this brisket that he smoked was literally the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. He also created jalapeno poppers that were wrapped in bacon, amazing stuff. All right, so we're uh, down here in uh, Georgetown, actually close to Austin. Sorry, there's an AC unit over there. And I just wanted to show you some of the spots that we're stopping as we're in town for business and uh, when we went to go look at the factory. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a cool spot in Georgetown. You're probably wondering why I just popped up in the middle of this video um, when you should be seeing B-roll of Austin, Texas and the Giga Factory. Uh, but the truth is I've been doing a lot of corporate videos and a lot of personal videos for people. When you're doing a lot of paid projects, I think you get hypercritical of your work. I almost forgot why I started YouTube in the first place because I got so critical of what I was putting out. When I went to Austin, I had all of these plans and I ended up losing one of my memory cards. Luckily, not one of the expensive Sony ones. One of my memory cards, nonetheless, that had a lot of the B-roll on it. And I had to go back to other previous trips of Austin to get the B-roll from it. I think I got the creative yips, if you will. I, I got so hypercritical of what I was putting out and what I was doing that I ended up not doing as much as I wanted to. My hope was that we actually were gonna be able to go see the Cybertruck and I was gonna get a bunch of shots and Laura was gonna help out with some of the footage so that we could get a lot of different angles and everything. And when that didn't happen, I, I think I literally looked at it and I was like, what am I gonna do for this video? I started YouTube not for anybody else, but for myself so that I could create and I could hone my hobby and skill in a way that was fulfilling to me. And, and if people liked that and they wanted to be a part of that and watch me, then that was great. I was excited about that. I forgot that this was a place that I could create things that I wanted to create and watch. And losing sight of that is actually a hard thing. If you've ever come across that in your own life where you've lost sight of why you're doing something or what your goal was in the first place can make it tough to, to create past that point. Hopefully you're not in the position that I was in and you just upload the content that you have. Who cares if it's not polished? Who cares if it's not perfect? Who cares if you didn't get the shots that you wanted? Who cares if you lose a memory card? Just post something, keep up with why you started it in the first place. You know, be true to what you wanna do, what you wanna accomplish and, uh, and, yeah, and have fun, you know? Don't let the fun get taken out of it by taking your Yourself too seriously you know that's what I did I took myself too seriously on that trip really appreciate all of you guys that are watching and you know please uh, come and watch another video of mine in the future or look back through my other ones I would love the support